What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and I'm gonna take you on a little behind the scenes tour, since that seems to kind of be the thing everyone's doing now, so of course I want to follow suit and copy. But I'm gonna take you on a little behind the scenes tour of a lot of the tech that I use on my daily basis here in my house, not only in my personal life, but also on running a YouTube channel. That ought to be interesting, right? Okay, so we're gonna start off today in a space that you guys saw in the previous video I did showing the house. Um, but this, if you remember, was just full of, of stuff stacked up. Um, but anyway, this is a built-in desk that was actually built in with the house. And I was thinking, what am I going to do with this thing? So I got to thinking, uh, kind of like how hotels do. They have their little business center, tech center. It's almost like a little cubby that you can just go to and do your printing. And, you know, if you need to print airline tickets or whatever. Um, I wanted to make a space here where little Jay can do homework, the wife can have her laptop set up. Now this is really the new like star of this area here, and this is the HP LaserJet M477. It is an extremely powerful and flexible printer solution that I'm using here. Um, HP, I'm actually part of their campaign here, which is uh, reinvent the office, and I think YouTubers have kind of done that, right? We've turned our, um, our passions into a business, and our offices are very unconventional, so that's why, you know, I don't know what to call it. I don't really, I don't really have an office. I don't really have a studio. I really just turn regular areas into workspaces. But because of that, I need a printer that can actually do full-fledged business needs. Now it's not just a printer. It's also a scanner, a fax machine, um, a laser jet. So it's, it prints very, very fast, especially right now during tax season. I have got hundreds of receipts and documents, invoices, statements that I've got to scan and get over to my tax people, which are not local. And I actually had a very, um, I, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how I was going to get this stuff all over to them, especially if you go to some place and pay to have all that stuff scanned, it's very expensive. So HP approached me about doing the review on this. I'm like, heck yes, I need this for my business. So this is one of the reasons why we'll be doing a review on this. Now, if that seems kind of weird to you guys, like really, you're going to be doing a business printer review. Remember guys, I worked in IT for nearly a decade. Uh, this is stuff I had to deal with on a regular basis and I didn't have a printer here because home grade or you know, personal use grade printers just don't fulfill the need that I have as a business. So we'll be doing this review here soon. Up here on the walls, we've got some stuff we put up here for Little J, getting 100s on her test, boo yeah. So anyway, this is a, a place that we, she's always liking to hang her artwork and stuff, but we have a stainless steel um, appliance that you know magnets don't stick to. So she can come here and just kind of put her own thing up on there and then she can, uh, yeah, she can hang up her own work and stuff. A chore board here that we've got for her. She's really keen on trying to earn money. So this is her, ch her chore board where she can earn her allowance and stuff. And then over here, we are going to be plugging in um, our tablets and things. This is my AX33 Sony camera. It's actually a, a 4K camera. It's a very nice camera. Really like that. In fact, that's what I did my vlogs with uh, in Seattle. But I need to either build or come up with a place to <clears throat> dock all of these tablets and phones because we have quite a few. So I want a place where the cables can be nice and tidy without being all over the house. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I just gotta figure something out. If you guys know of something I can use, um, link me to it on Twitter or put it in the comments or something. I need something for right here. And then of course we have my shop and my inventory which you guys have already seen. This is where I'm gonna be doing all of my builds. This is where I'm gonna be doing all of my testing of hardware and stuff. This is the test bench that I just set back up. If you guys hear lawnmowers, I apologize. All of the neighbors seem to have different gardeners that all come on different days. Therefore, there are lawnmowers running every freaking day in this neighborhood, and it is super annoying. Anyway, here's, uh, I moved the stack of stuff that was over here to over there, and the reason for that was the plug, and then there's the power line adapter, which you guys saw the review on, um, is right there. So I had to move the desk closer to that wall. That way I could actually get everything to reach. Uh, on the shelves over here, the two lower shelves, the black ones on the right, these are, uh, this is all my water cooling stuff. So I can do all my water cooling builds. I actually bought some stuff to organize all the fittings. That way I can find them a lot easier. And then everything here is pretty much organized based on the type of stuff that it is. So we've got headphones and headsets up top, AMD graphics cards, Nvidia graphics cards, motherboards, power supplies, coolers, microphones and hard drives. Um, this power supply is actually slated for a build for Red Mist is getting an update. The Master, uh, Master Air Maker 8, I've got to do a review on that still. Keyboards, some more miscellaneous stuff, and then extension of headphones and some tight nexes and stuff. 
But anyway, that's that. The office used to be my YouTube studio slash office slash builder space, which really kind of sucked because it was an eight by 10 room that literally had uh, very little room to do anything. And if I had to build a system, it made a huge mess. It kept me from getting work done. It just was frustrating. And recently I moved and that's not the case anymore. So I've kind of got a few different places here that I actually do all of my work. So we're gonna start here with the office which uh, I've clearly recorded some videos in, but it also doubles as where I get all my business done. Now I get asked all the time about my desks. This is an Ikea Gallant system. The reason why I call it system is because as you can see by the seams in the desk, they are modular. And that means that you can expand it, you can shrink it. Uh, same thing with this desk over here. It's another piece of the Gallant system. If I wanted, I could have technically attached it you know, to the end right there and it could have blocked the door. So unfortunately, Ikea discontinued this desk and they replaced it with something called the Beckett, which is not modular like this because it's very angular and it does not have the extensions on there. But taking a look underneath the desk, you can get a pretty good idea of what I mean by it being modular because you literally bolt on these extension frames here, put a new top on there, screw it down, and then there it is. All my cable management is being pretty much handled by uh, these under trays, which are also part of the Gallant system in Ikea. Unfortunately, I believe that they have discontinued those as well, which is really disappointing. Another thing I get asked about a lot is my chair. This is a DX Racer Iron Series chair. It's designed for dudes that are up to, I believe, 350 pounds. Um, I'm currently 240 pounds, so this is, uh, you know, obviously a bit heavier duty than I would need. But I used to have the King Series chair, which was made for really big dudes. And since I lost all my weight, I don't need that big of a chair anymore, so I've got this very form-fitting, very comfortable chair from DX Racer. You guys see it in a lot of my videos. I literally just love this chair. Um, upstairs here, I've got another wireless. This is my uh, ASRock G10. I just recently did a video on that. For the audio, I'm still using the Monoprice Large Diaphragm Condenser Mic. It looks nice. It's got a built-in shock mount. It's XLR. Um, haven't been having too many issues with it. I'm having some issues with my audio though, but I believe it's the cable because I cheaped out on like an $8 cable. So that's probably gonna be the issue. It's hooked up to a Heil PL2T arm. Um, it's a terrible arm, by the way. I don't recommend this arm. It's extremely overpriced and it costs way too much for the quality of it. Um, it's also not very long, so it doesn't reach out very far. I mean, yeah, you can see it reached out, you know, all the way to, to there. But the problem is it's just, it, it, it's just not good for its price. That's the only way I can really explain it. It's kind of squeaky, it makes a lot of springy noise, and it just, I don't know. I, I got it because it was designed to hold a lot of weight, and at the time I had a Blue Yeti attached to it, which is pretty heavy. My audio setup for Tech Talk is the same as it's always been. This is the Alesis Multimix uh, 4. It is a very inexpensive, like, 40 45 dollar soundboard or mixer board here I've got one mic hooked up to it it's also got uh it's audio output which i hook my headphones to so i can monitor what's happening everything with the audio of the mic as well as the stream and it's a usb output so it's connecting to the pc via usb interface so it's also a sound card which means if i plug in my headphones then I get all the system sounds and gaming sounds too so that's pretty neat of course little jay thinks i'm number one dad so i've got that on the desk uh, when it comes to monitor i am using the uh, Predator X34 mounted on a rose wheel arm back there, as you can see. Um, I don't like having desk stand or monitor stands like that are on the desk. So I always use an arm, as you can see right there. Technically, it was a two monitor arm that I took off one of the arms and made it a single monitor. For keyboard, I'm using the Corsair K70 RGB. I've had this keyboard for a while and for a bit, I was using the G-Skill RGB. That's just because I was trying it out, and unfortunately I'm getting tired of all the flickering on camera with the other keyboard. But as you can see with this one, there is um, very little flickering, if any at all. Now you guys say, with well, the flickering I can change, you know, get rid of that with the frame rate of the camera. Unfortunately, I've played around with my Canon here a ton to try and get rid of the flickering with the G-Skill. It just doesn't go away no matter what I put the FPS at. This is still by far my favorite mouse of all time. This is the... CM Storm Reaper mouse. Unfortunately, they do not make this anymore. I don't know why they stopped. It was part of their aluminum series where it has this removable aluminum top here. You could paint it, anodize it, do whatever you wanted, customize it. I uh, don't know why they ever stopped you know, producing that, but they did. This is my RS gaming mat. It is the extra long version, so you can see it's actually kind of dirty. But what I like about this is it is made out of a, 
a material that you can seriously just wet and wipe down and all these fingerprints and stuff come off. So it's really, really nice where it starts to look kind of grimy like this. You can literally just clean it. I love that. Now, a lot of people have gotten mad at my cables here. The problem is I like to kind of kick back with my feet up when I'm editing and stuff. If I, if I put a hole back there for them to go through, then there's not enough slack for me to put the keyboard on my lap if I'm sitting back. There's also not enough slack for the mouse to make it all the way to the computer tower, which is all the way over here. So that's why I've got it like that. If you guys know of any wireless gaming stuff that has very little to no lag on keyboard and mouse, I might consider it. So put it in the comments down below if you think there's something I should check out. I'll gladly buy it. Um, and, and I don't even want to receive it for review. I want to go buy it and I want to try it out to see exactly how well it performs. Because for gaming, you know, lag sucks. All right, this is Skunkworks. This is my main system and it's kind of the staple of the channel. It's gone through many different iterations right now. It's three Titan X's, uh, water-cooled on a Gigabyte uh, X99 SOC, Ch SOC Champion. It's got a 5960X Intel Extreme CPU overclocked. It's got 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator DDR4. Of course, it's got a 560 RAD, a 280 RAD, a 480 RAD, fans everywhere. Water-cooled galore. Everyone loves the water cooling. It's what I do. Hey, you can see me in the reflection right there. So yeah, if you've never seen this PC, you definitely must be new to the channel, but that's okay. We, we welcome you here. Now the lighting that you see on my desk right now is nothing more than LED strips that are stuck on, literally on the edge right there. They are RGB, um, so you can change the colors. They are preset colors though. You can't like, you know, you can't do fade and stuff like that. So here's uh, yellow, you know, we got some blue, we got some pink, we got some white green. So we got all kinds of stuff there. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I like that I can change the color based on my mood. It's like, I'm in a bad mood. I don't want to be conforming to society. Now I'm red. And you can be like, oh, I'm happy now. We'll go with blue. Blue's happy. This is my main tripod right here with my battery adapter for my camera, which is a Canon 70D. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, I kind of cheaped out on it. It's an I or any e image. I've got it from Sammy's camera. It's a pretty good, pretty steady camera, uh, tripod I mean, but it um, doesn't have the smoothest of pan head on there, even though it is fluid. Um, so I want to get a better, like a Manfrotto or something like that. But that is what I use for most of my shots when I'm using you know, a static camera. So I'm still putting this area together here. This is pretty much just gonna be the guest PC slash backup PC if Skunkworks goes down or something. This is my 6700K build I did in that um, NZXT S240. Uh, it's got the Z170 in there for the win from EVGA, 6700K and all that stuff. Here's the G-Skill uh, keyboard that I got moved over here from the main rig. And then this is also the G-Skill um, RGB gaming mouse right here. This thing's pretty cool actually. Um, it's, it's an ambidextrous mouse, so it's got equal buttons on both sides. And these little parts right here literally just stick on, this is hard with one hand, they stick on with magnet power. So you can set this up for comfort. It comes with a bunch of different um, pieces here that you can use. So you can make it truly ambidextrous. I've got this set up how I want it. It's fully adjustable. It's a, it's a pretty neat thing. Might actually do a review on this. So these are the soft boxes that I use. They're not very expensive. In fact, they're quite unstable. They're always wanting to fall over on me, but I cheaped out on these from Amazon. I want to replace these with some good LED light panels. So if you guys know of any good video production LED panels, let me know. But there's six lamps per each. There's one in the middle and two on the top, two on the bottom. It gets really hot using these. Um, they are, I believe, 32 watt LEDs in there. They're very, very, very hot when all 10 of these or 12 of these are turned on. But anyway, that's what I use when I do my lighting and stuff. Um, inside the closet here, not much to show, quite honestly. We've got uh, some radiators and stuff there, the G10 box, some other things chilling in here. So there's not a whole lot to see. Yeah, I've got my Xbox 360 down there. What? What? What about it? But this is quite honestly one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've got right now, and this is the racing simulator, as you guys have seen me talk about and tease and, and really just wear the heck out when it came to any excitement over this thing. I know you guys are like, okay, you got a racing sim, I just don't care anymore. Well, I care, and that's the whole point of this video. But it's the Art Racing Cockpit from GT Omega. You guys can check the link in the description or just search my channel for GT Omega and you guys can find uh, you can save 5% using my discount code, which I believe is Jay's 2 k 14 Yeah, we need to update that. Anyway, this is the rig that you guys just saw me build uh, or put back together the other night with Coconut Monkey. Obviously, I've got my Audio-Technica headphones hooked up to it. 
Uh, Logitech G27 steering wheel and pedals. I need something better, I really, really do. And then I've got three uh, Acer 1080p 60 hertz panels. Nothing ent entirely too incredible there. No, no G-Sync, nothing insane. Uh, but yeah, that thing is so much fun. I love it. Last night, instead of going to bed, I actually sat here and, and raced uh, at Willow Springs for a bit. It's my local track. Anyway guys, that's just kind of been a quick tour of the tech that I used, and I just realized I forgot to talk about the camera I'm actually using here. This is my Canon 70D, and it's got a 17 by 55 ultrasonic uh, lens on there, which is perfect for video. It's an f2.8 all the way through, so when I zoom in or zoom out, there's not gonna be uh, any darkening of the image. It's on pretty much a homebrew mount that I made or uh, an actual rig that I made. So I've got my uh, defocus, follow focus on there and I'm using my Sennheiser wireless mic setup. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, just hit me up. Also, you can do a search my channel for camera and you'll see the stuff that I've been using when it comes to the camera. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this tour. Um, I know it's not all like Team Crispy and stuff like that with like gorgeous B-roll and whatnot, but Hey, this is my style. And it was kind of like we were walking around together taking a look at all of this stuff around here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And if you guys have any video suggestions, remember, you know what to do. Hit me up, let me know, and maybe I'll touch on it. All right guys, see you in the next one.